Agenda 21. <laughs> the World Economic Forum. Yep. We know what, what this big pandemic's all about. It's just a big cover-up for the, the great reset that's coming. Is this about more than just vaccinations? This is about everything. This is about lockdowns. This is about all of it. The 5G is going to react with the nanobots that they're putting in the vaccines. And not only that, they're putting nanobots in the, um, in the COVID um, tests as well. It's, it's micro-technology. It's technology that's so advanced, they're so tiny that you, can, you can't see them. I think it's just a tool to line us all up like little ducks and put us into little cages. They will able to be able to put thoughts into our brain. You want to tell me about the flags? It feels like we're invading Iraq right now. <laughs> I don't like idiots. I don't like stupid people that aren't educated on, on what's really going on. I can't believe the government and everyone over this fear-mongering with COVID is actually going to fucking dictate our lives and, and destroy a lot, a lot more. It's and against it, the Nuremberg Code, isn't it? Yep, it's against the Nuremberg Code. UK is the creator of the, the Bill of Rights, the Magna Carta. Australia is the creator of the Larrikin. And uh, America is the antidote to tyranny. Every country that we went to, you know, we might not have gone there for the right reasons, we might not have gone there in the most peaceful way, but they prospered underneath us. We have done more good than we have done bad. Look at us now. Look at where we are. This isn't China, mate. This is the second protest I've been to in my life. Why can't they just let us voice our opinion? I've got lots of opinions on lots of different things, but as far as the vaccine goes, you have to be able to choose what you put in your body. We are waking up. We are free people, and we've always been free people, but we're finally waking up to just how free we are. And this government is shitting itself. Daniel Andrews wouldn't be hiding away if he thought he was so righteous. Come My on. man, Peter Little. Oh, come yes, come here. yes. Come here. Peter Little, oh. Stevie, we're all here. Yeah, it's all happening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Took another one. Got oh, that hardball, didn't we? We got that hardball. Just like Shane yeah. Tuck got that hardball. Ah, we'll touch the ball, man. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. It's my body, my choice, simple as that. I can't describe it. It's gone mad. It's the people are winning here. Well, you know what Dan Andrews is, mate? The lies, deception. But he needs to be told, mate. What needs to be done? Government needs to pull ahead of him, mate. Um, so it's a real unfortunate reality of the situation that uh, we're, up, we're up against some pretty serious opposition here uh, in, the, in the Melbourne Freedom Movement. Fuck you, pigs! Fuck you, pigs! We love the police! Uh, we're coming. We are coming for all the marginal seats. We are coming. We're going to start a political movement. So this is a, a protest movement for now, but uh, in the future it's going to be a political movement where we take back the power in this country. And one day, one day, these Victoria Police are going to be following the right rules again, the rules that protect Victorians' freedom. Thank you. Trump, are you there? Trump? Biden? White House. Hi. Um... I'm calling from Australia. I was just wondering, is um, uh, Joe Biden in the Oval Office at the moment? Is, is he currently the president? He's with Hunter. Is, jo is Joe Biden the president? Yes, sir. He's the president? Hello? You re yes, sir. You reached the, the switchboard, so how may I direct your call? Um, to the Oval Office, please. One moment for more information. Thank you for calling the White House. Proper salutations are as follows. For the first family, dear Mr. President or dear Dr. Biden, thank you again for contacting the White House. You're welcome. Hail CCP. Hi, dear Soros cops, how you going? George Soros cops, how are you? <laughs> If you look into a lot of George Soros, if you look into not anything away from Google, it'll say he's part of the elite. He's part of that 1% that are trying to control our, control us, control our freedom. He's, he's trafficking thousands of children all over the world. They control the government, they tell the government what to do. He puts, and it's not a conspiracy theory at all because he puts money into the government, he pays the, um, is it the Democracy Party off in America? Like, it, well, he actually pays all of them off, but he pays them off and 
Donald Trump would not take his money and that's why they targeted him so much. If you look into Black Lives Matter, he's also the main financial uh, of Black Lives Matter and all that money went to the Clintons, the, all, all of them. So that's who he is. How dare you! How dare you ruin your souls! You make me cry! I weep! I weep! So what happened on uh, in the Capitol insurrection? OK. He didn't... He didn't incite that. Two kilometres from where he was speaking to where the incitement happened or to where the insurrection... It wasn't an insurrection on my books. It was paid for. I believe it was paid for, organised. America's going to die with Biden in charge, I can tell you that right now. It's gonna, I, I believe there'll be civil unrest, big time. Yeah. There was a cop with the um, with a megaphone and he was warning all the women and children, or he was warning all the children to move away. Yeah. And I said to him, why are you going to create violence? And he winked at me. Fresh kicks. I love Thank these. You. I don't know. I got, I got, um, I was taking video earlier and they grabbed, tried to grab my phone, they held it. And then they grabbed my wrist and pepper sprayed me, threw me into a pole. So they didn't get my face, so I burnt my arm. So they're bastards. Yeah. Yeah, I'm too old for this. <laughs> I got scared. We're not going until the cricket's back on. Let these cricket players continue with their game, please. I think that uh, they're, they're absolutely delusional, as far as I'm concerned. They, are, they couldn't be more delusional. I think uh, the public health should absolutely be front of mind for all of them, and uh, they're choosing to ignore that. So COVID has impacted us all far too much, and I think that we should uh, move on get the vaccinations. They have the freedom to not get the vaccine or get the vaccine, same as all of us. Um, no one's forcing the vaccine down their throat, but if you want to get it, you can get it. I don't think Victoria's a dictatorship. That's what I feel. And I think the people that think it is are fucking delusional. And I think the 2,000 people that were here today feel that way and are fucking delusional. So we should all just enjoy ourselves, get involved in the rainbow movement and enjoy.